1929, the telephone in my apartment rang. <whistles> Mrs. Mary Sullivan, head of the City Policeman's Bureau, was superintending the raid in person. You have no right to touch those files. Not even the nurses ever see them. They are the private property of the doctors. Oh, everybody outside into the patrol wagons. You are being booked under section 1142 of the New York statutes disseminating birth control information. The clinic had been active quite legally for six years under exception section 1145 birth control information from doctors for the health of the mother. Immediately following the raid, various doctors volunteered to go on the stand to testify as to the medical principle of privacy involved. <laughs> People versus Margaret Sanger! Judge Rosenbluff presiding! Officer McNamara. <laughs> I presented myself as a patient on the first visit I learned the routine. And on the second visit, when the doctor left the room, I copied patients' history cards from off the doctor's desk. <laughs> don't, don't they have to bring their marriage certificates with them? No. <laughs> Does not the clinic send out social workers to discover the truth of a patient's routine? <laughs> Do you know of a situation where a doctor dispatched a detective to find out whether his patient was married? <laughs> the laws of New York State are <laughs> that contraception may be given to married women only for the cure or prevention of disease. Do you dare claim that this article will cure tuberculosis. Will it cure cancer?